So my name is Oskar Reisen, and I'm the founder and manage, managing director of, of Greenwriters. And uh, Greenwriters is a ride-sharing ecosystem. It's an online and mobile solution for companies and consumers that makes sharing transportation and tracking carbon, uh, carbon emission easy. Our mission is to become a global leader in tracking and reducing carbon emission created by personal and employees' transportation. And how our, our application works, I will show a short, short video of that. Green Riders on uusi verkkopalvelu, joka mahdollistaa kimppakyytien mutkattoman tarjoamisen ja vastaanottamisen. Kasper tarvitsee kyydin Helsingistä Tampereelle. Green Riders auttaa häntä löytämään mahdolliset kimppakyydit. Mobiilisovelluksen avulla Kasper järjestää itselleen kyydin Ilonan punaiseen Fiattiin. Ilona ajaa väliä työnsä puolesta päivittäin. Liittyminen Green Riders-palveluun on ilmaista, helppoa ja nopeaa. Voit hakea tai tarjota kyytejä nettisalaimalla tai kännykällä. Green Riders ilmoittaa vahvistetusta kyydistä tekstiviestillä. Green Riders yhdistää yksityisautoilun osaksi julkista liikennettä säästäen luontoa ja rahaa. Okay, so there's two editions of Green Riders. There's the city edition and the corporate edition. The, we, the city edition we are selling to cities and the corporate edition we are selling to companies as software as a service. Um, the core of Green Riders is in trusted networks. Trusted networks are a group of people which trust each other somehow. Example could be uh, employees of one company or employees of many companies or school parents, for example, in the city edition. We have also mobile clients, so the, um, people can use the application through their mobile devices. We support at this moment iPhone, that uh, application can be downloaded from the Apple App Store and, and Nokia devices from OV Store. Um, our system is open and globally designed. We use the Google Maps, glo um, global maps for the, for the mapping solution and um, the service is hosted at Google, Google Cloud, so it scales to immense amount of users. Also, we have built the system so that external developers can build applications on top of Green Riders, which is a good in cases, for example, that uh, we need some external developers to do integration with um, some public transportation system in, in other countries. Our current status is that we have business and city editions in use in Finland, and the international expansion, uh, expansion starting in 2011. We started selling the solution in um, May 2010, we got the first customers in August 2010 and are now making deals all the time. A um, few customer cases of, of our current, current customers, it shows a bit of the business case. Uh, first, PricewaterhouseCoopers is just starting to use the Green Riders corporate edition. And uh, their motivation to use Green Riders, they really want to track the carbon emission created by their em employees' commute. So we are the the system is, is, is tracking it and giving the reports. Of course, we don't have the results yet because it's just starting. Uusikaupunki, which is a city in, in, in Finland, um, also starting to use Green Riders City Edition as the first city customer. And um, their interest um, is also ecological. They are part of this um, carbon neutral city project. And, and also for these small and mid sized cities. It's very hard to have an effective public transport system. So Green Riders is supporting in, the, in, in that case also. So the, some schools in Uusikaupunki uh, hospitals um, and city employees will start using the services as the first users. Of course, we want to expand to more, more there too. Um, then we are also a member of Cleantech Finland. And Cleantech Finland is also just starting to use the Green Riders corporate edition to, as a service for the Cleantech Finland members, so there will be one trusted, trusted group for all the member companies they can join and use the, use the service. There's an um, ecological aspect, but also a bit of social and networking aspect there. 
about the competition, at this moment there's really light competition in, in Finland. We have been creating the market basically in, in here. Globally we see six to seven global competitors for us. Um, we estimate that the global competition will increase significantly in the next two or three years. It's, it's getting all, all, all the time new, new players to the market and that's why we have a bit of a hurry in our internalization. And now we feel that now it's much more easier to get to the market and get a proper market share even globally than uh, in, in two years. Um, about a few words about the company. It's founded in 2008. It's financed by the owners, Mr. Jelko Boskovic and, and me. We own 95% uh, of the company currently. And then the 5% uh, the is owned by our employees and, and, and partners. And uh, Tekes has been funding us with the R&D grant when uh, developing Green Riders. Uh, we have currently five full-time employees, four part-time employees. They are split with the 50-50 ratio between, between marketing and sales and, and development team. Uh, in 2010, we are making revenue around 120,000 euros. For the 2011, we are estimating around half mil turnover. Uh, our team has previous experience in working companies such as IBM, SAP, Nokia, and United Nations, just to uh, mention a few. Now, for our business goals in 2011, one, one is to maximize the potential and environmental benefits in, in Finnish market. We have started now and, and really see that the pace going, going faster now every month. Um, we are successfully expanding to selected international markets, so that's, that's our plan in 2011. It will be UK or Sweden. We are doing the research currently and, and seeing which one is better. And then also to address long-term competitive advance, uh, basically patenting our innovations, what we have made when, when creating green riders. Thank you. I was fast. Thank you. Maybe more time for the questions. Then. Yeah, the green rider comes on time. Eh? That's good. Yeah. Um, I, can I start with a question? Sure. How do you track where somebody is? I can understand that if I drive to between two cities and I tell you, but you know, how do you track that? Uh, currently, depending how do you, how do you use, but um, for the student, if you use the service through a web browser, then you just need to give the information where you are and where you are going. Um, if you are using a mobile device, we can um, use the GPS tracking um, of, the, of the mobile device. So I see the need for a trusted party to track that all, because you basically know where everybody is uh, yeah, at that's, any time. Yeah, that's, that's basically optional, so it's not mandatory and, and people can use that if they want to use, but more or less our users at this moment are, are putting the information manually to the system. Okay, thanks. Well, you didn't really mention the business models, so that, that who is paying for what and, and, and to whom. Yeah. But uh, previously, like years back, there was this uh, share driver initiative, uh, and then, then people suddenly found out that it was a tax office who was the biggest uh, hindrance, because uh, if you pay for somebody and they get earnings, uh, probably you should somehow report that one way or another. But uh, anyway, your business model, who is paying for what? Yeah, for, so there was two, two questions. So the, the our customers are companies and, and the cities, companies for the, cit, uh, for the corporate edition, cities for the city edition, meaning that they are paying a monthly license fee uh, depending how many employees there is in the company or with the cities we are, they are more or less custom projects, but, uh, but with a monthly, monthly uh, fee. So is the person utilizing the service, is he or she paying at all? No. So it's the, the companies, and we feel that, that the companies can, can be seen as this type of a gatekeepers in this mm. share, ride sharing currently. So, so companies can show an example for their employees that, okay, we <coughs> want you to use these ride sharing services and uh, reduce the cost and, and, and also the, the waste in a way to, to put more than 1.3 persons to the one car. But do you, do you have any, any dialogue with tax office because they uh, often no. think that there's no free lunches? No, uh, there's... Uh, Tax office and, and, and actually also the Ministry of uh, Transportation are very, very um, kind of like our solution. Um, they, the, the tax law changed uh, two, two, three years ago so that if it's not uh, 
uh, elinkeinon harjoittamista. I don't know, it's, if it's not your job to give the rights, then it's okay to share the cost. And there's nothing, nothing there. Currently, we are talking with the tax office. How um, can the tax, um, what type of tax benefits are people taking um, other people to your cars in the work commute can, can get? So, so there's, and, and they are also, but that, that discussion is on, on the, currently ongoing with the tax office, but at least there's nothing negative uh, from the tax office perspective. And, and, the, and the Ministry of Transportation is really um, feeling that our, our solution is good. Two, two more short questions with a short answer. Uh, yeah, have you planned financials? What kind of sales you can generate in five years? Five years from now to, to, to some 2015, for example. Uh, I, I, 2015, I think we are not even thought thought that far but uh but we can see um uh, let's say in in um but my estimate roughly for 2015 can be 20 million euros at least we do it for 20 million last yeah. question or is that your question as well yeah okay thank you thank you for your presentation great thank you